Hey guys, Jungle Jake here with another video, and in this video you will learn how to hold an alligator lizard. My alligator lizard's name is Scaly, if you didn't already know, and she can be pretty skittish. But the first thing you gotta remember if you're trying to catch a wild uh, alligator lizard is that they will bite. Including my alligator lizard, but she's pretty tame. So, she can be skittish, but she's also tame. So, you gotta carefully put your hands over the alligator lizard. And then, usually they'll run away really fast, but she's being tame right now. See, they're pretty fast. They'll open their mouths and hiss at you and stuff. Now she's in her water dish. Okay. I'm gonna let her dry off a little. So, yeah, you have to, like, keep your hands away from the mouth or else to, like, open their mouth and strike and bite your finger off. Not off, but, like, bite your finger. But if you're catching one for a pet, they make really good pets and are very tame if you hold them a lot. Like, you can see she's pretty tame. It's not focusing very well, but... Oh, there we go. Yeah, so... That's how you pick them up. And for handling... Uh, mine doesn't move around too much, but... They can and will move around a lot, so... Just gotta be careful because they are very fast. But when they're tamed down like scaly, they're not like super skittish when you hold them. I caught scaly <clears throat> almost six years ago in my backyard when she was a baby. She was like in the grass almost freezing and uh, we picked her up and got her in a cage eventually and she's been my pet ever since I think they make very good beginners because I was really young when I got her and she lasted a couple weeks without eating very much at all because I didn't know what to feed alligator lizards. So they make very good v beginner pets. But the boreal alligator lizards, they're like kind of harder and they're way more expensive. Yep, so that's Scaly, and uh, here's her cage. If you're thinking about getting an alligator lizard, you can get a setup kind of like this. Some hides, whatever type of substrate. They like to burrow, but my mom doesn't want uh, dirt in the cage. She's against dirt for some reason in the house. But lots of stuff to hide in. They'll do just fine. If you get a brick like I have there, that'll help with their toenails to sharpen up. Like, maybe you saw, but her nails are, like, bent and toes are sideways. It looks kind of really weird. But, yep, that's Scaly in her setup. And that's how to handle alligator lizards. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. 
because there's more videos coming. And thumbs up if you like it. And Jungle Jake out.